In this activity, we will try to demonstrate the changes happening when a candle burns as reversible and irreversible. For this activity, we need a candle fixed on a stand, a matchbox, a measuring scale. Take the candle and measure the height of the candle with the help of a measuring scale. As you can observe, the height of the candle is 8.5 centimeters. Record this observation. Now, take the matchbox and burn the candle. Leave the candle in this state for about 5 to 10 minutes. As you can see, as the candle is burning, the wax is getting melted and collected around the candle. The wick of the candle is also getting burnt and the candle is getting shorter. Now let us measure the length of the candle is approximately 7.5 centimeters. Can you collect this wax? Yes. Can you collect the wick of the candle which has already burnt? No. The wick of the candle which already has been burnt cannot be obtained back. So burning of the wick of the candle is a type of irreversible change as it cannot be obtained back. Melting of the wax is a type of reversible change. We conclude that burning of candle demonstrates both reversible as well as irreversible type of change.